here in the Bay Area. There were prayers for healing and unity at local Sunday church services following the assassination attempt on former President Trump. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard spoke with clergy members and Trump supporters. Cornell, at least with the folks you talked with, is it clear now that everyone is denouncing that violence? Yeah, JR, everyone agrees. No tolerance for violence anywhere in America. Many telling us they are thankful the former president wasn't seriously injured, and now they're praying for the nation. A time for prayer and reflection at San Francisco's Grace Cathedral. Reverend Anna Rossi paused for a moment of silence for the welfare of the nation. <laughs> Following Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Trump and the death of a campaign supporter. We decry the violence that took place and we mourn the loss of life. Church leaders calling for healing and unity. Violence of any kind, but most especially political violence, um, is not a way to heal a society. And we're a society that de desperately needs healing. It's very sad that this happened yesterday. Congregation members condemning the violence, sending Trump good wishes. I will pray for his well-being today here at Grace Cathedral and uh, hope that everything works out well for him. Christopher Obanya came to church with the hope gun violence across the nation will stop. Here now, you know, next president is being shot. And so, you know, that lawlessness just needs to stop. Horrific. Beyond. In the East Bay, Trump supporters were out early Sunday morning in Lafayette, waving flags on this Highway 24 overpass. So we're out here in support of President Trump. Obviously, what a tragedy that anyone would want to take another person's life. Nobody needs to, to bring violence into uh, a political decision. Those Trump supporters calling their candidates strong and resilient after yesterday's shooting. Meantime, hopes and prayers for unity and healing continue. Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.